Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, this is something I've always said. Do not idolize anybody. Listen to everything. Listen to everybody. But do not do not idolize them, okay? Because nobody is perfect. You're never going to find somebody that you can completely 100% agree with. It's just not going to happen. So, article today, we've got some serious heat in the crypto world. As Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin calls out MicroStrategy's Michael Saylor for his controversial views on Bitcoin custody. Yeah, this is pretty surprising coming from Michael Saylor. All right, so this one's about self-custody, right? Obviously, link in the description, get yourself a ledger, keep your assets under your own control. Don't leave them on exchanges. I don't even buy the fucking ETFs. Buy your own crypto. Forget about the ETFs. Forget about BlackRock, Bitwise, all these people. Buy your own Bitcoin, keep it in your own wallet. Link in the description. Control your assets. Be your own bank. Once you hand over your assets, that's it. Vitalik Buterin versus Michael Saylor. It's a clash of titans. Recently, Saylor appeared on the Markets with Madison podcast, which he made some shocking statements about Bitcoin self-custody. For a guy who's known as one of Bitcoin's most vocal advocates, he took a surprising stance. Instead of promoting self-custody, Saylor suggested that trusting larger financial custodians like BlackRock or Fidelity would be safer than holding your own Bitcoin. Yeah, you heard that right. <laughs> Now, if you're in the crypto community, you know that promoting self-custody is almost sacred. So when Saylor, a self-proclaimed Bitcoin maximalist, that sided with big banks, people were shocked. Vitalik Buterin didn't hold back, calling Saylor's advice batshit insane. I have to agree, and I don't even like Vitalik. In a tweet, Buterin pointed out how Saylor seems to be advocating for regulatory capture, essentially saying, let the big regulated entities hold your crypto and the government won't touch it. This is where it gets interesting. Buterin highlighted how Saylor's stance is a dangerous shift, moving away from the decentralized and self-sovereignty that crypto was built on. But let's break down what Saylor is saying. He suggests that by putting Bitcoin in the hands of regulated financial giants like BlackRock or Fidelity, we can reduce the risk of government seizure. According to him, there's no way senators and congressmen will target these entities since they're holding their retirement funds too. <laughs> in Saylor's world, it's paranoid crypto anarchists who worry about the government swooping in and taking their Bitcoin. He even downplayed the risks of government seizure, referring, referencing the Great Depression where people handed over their gold voluntarily. Except, not quite. During that time, US citizens were required by law to give up their gold for a set price. So yeah, a bit of revisionist history there. But Saylor's view has some major flaws. First of all, history shows us that governments can and do seize assets. Just because it hasn't happened with Bitcoin yet doesn't mean that it won't. During the Great Depression, people thought their assets were safe in the banks. That didn't turn out so well, did it? And just so you're absolutely clear, banks have recently changed the terms of their service. They have total control of your money. For any emergency that they declare whatsoever, they are allowed to take your money. That's the law. Think about it. And it's really the bank's money, believe it or not. And what that means in a banking crisis, and let's say that there is a bail-in, then they have the right legally to take what you consider to be your money. So there's two thoughts on this. Number one is the ownership theory of money is you take out physical currency from your bank account, and you could do it in any you know, way that's best for you. In other words, you don't have to withdraw your entire, you know, uh, bank account in cash, but I would certainly consider owning some cash for a lot of various reasons, um, you know, electronic failure, cyber attack, bank closure, um, you know, terrorist act, who knows? I, I look more toward electrical problems with the grid perhaps, or cyber attack is the main two that concern me. And the other part, is that I didn't really say to Greg, and that's, you know, if you have a large sum in the bank and you're really just getting acquainted with the precious metals, one of the easiest ways to move money, quote unquote money, is to move it via a check or a wire and take uh, X amount from your account and move it into physical metal. And that's what a lot of savvy people have done over the years that have listened to you and Stansberry. It's like, look, 
I need some protection. I need some what we call monetary insurance, some wealth protection. And I've got a lot of cash, but I don't have any metals. So that's one way to do it. The other part, again, I'll give it back to you, Danielle, is does it make sense to take some cash out of the bank? And the answer is absolutely after the fact. I mean, once people wake up to the idea that, uh uh-oh, and just one more comment. It's kind of funny, but it isn't. And that's when we had the 2008 crisis. Guess who was running down the ATMs? The Wall Streeters. Not the man on the street. The Wall Streeters knew what the heck was going on, scared to death and worried about an ultimate collapse. And they were draining the ATMs at the time. So back to you. So sailors claim that Bitcoin held in custody is as safe as your Apple stock might be a bit overly optimistic. In the end, sailors' views seem to favor a more centralized approach, while Vitalik and the broader crypto community are standing by the values of decentralization and self-custody. Trusting big banks with your crypto might feel secure, but it could also open the door to government intervention. Yeah, they will steal your shit. What do you think? Should we be more trusting of big financial custodians? Or is self-custody still the way to go? Let me know in the comments. Play hard, trade smart. Subscribe. This is the Crypto Realm.